My lovely Virgos, if you would like your own personal reading or one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching, you can email me and my email is in the description box. So for this week, there's an energy around you of like sadness. There's an energy around you of mourning the loss of someone who crossed over. So if you have someone who passed, no matter who it is, I just see you taking time to mourn the loss, like you crying. I see some of you at a grave site. You can go visit someone at their grave site. Um, you're just, there's some level of loss, Virgo, and, and it's in your energy. There's some level of loss. Some of you too, it could be financial losses that you didn't expect. And you can be in your head as to how you can make more money or get your money back. If there's a financial loss. Um, let's see what else is going on with your energy, Virgo. Yeah, there's some level of loss. Because I've been here like I, I didn't expect this. This is something that I didn't expect. This took me by surprise. So somebody surprisingly passes. Ooh, see, there's also some level of financial loss. You feel deceived. You feel deceived. And there's other people who can feel envious of you if they feel like you have a lot of money and they're not able to get money from you. This could be people on the outside looking in. This could be an old friend who feels as if you have money now and they could be going through financial losses and looking over at you thinking that you're winning when the truth is you're trying to figure out how to come out of debt too. All right. So that's what you're going to feel. Um, if it's not a friend, like I said, it could be a family member who could be watching you on the outside, looking in, feeling as if you are winning and things are working out for you and, and they're losing. That's another thing too, Virgo. It can also be somebody who was secretly preying on your downfall, whether it could have been a family member or a friend, whoever this family member or friend is, is just somebody who's watching your pockets and feel like things are working out for you and things are not working out for them. So they feel envious and they feel upset. Um, but however, like I said, going back to that, you're taking power back over your life. You're trying to make changes when it comes to your finances so you could have more money. A lot of you, you have a lot of expenses or some of you can have a, a, a child and you have to pay out a lot of money, whether it's for daycare, for school, for clothes you're spending a lot of money on your children so i don't know why somebody would feel like you need to give them money all right another thing too if any of you virgos brought your child's father to child support they feel they feel angry at you they feel deceived if you are asking for child support because the way that they see it is well you're doing good and I'm barely making ends meet. So why do you need more of my money? Which is which is ridiculous because if you have a child with them, they're obligated to support the child regardless. But um, it can also be a situation like that. Yeah. You know, Virgo, you're going into a season where <laughs> I don't know why this is showing up, but you're going to feel more safer by yourself in this season you're gonna feel more safer when you're alone you're gonna feel more at peace when you're alone because there's too many people watching you too many people watching you you could have even struggled to maintain friendships because people could have could have just assumed that oh you're more blessed than me oh you have more than me oh it it just seems like that I don't, this weird energy weird energy but then there are people that that do celebrate you and is happy for you as well. But then those even those people can feel like, damn, I want I wonder what it feels like to be you. And they don't even know that behind the scenes, baby, you you struggling. You <laughs> you have to fight and do a lot to maintain what you have, you know, and there's times that you pay your bills. And after you pay your bills, you barely have anything left. So I don't know why people are coming for you, but people are coming for you, Virgo. 
but you're very calm. You seem very unbothered, very, very unbothered. And one thing I do like about your energy, even though I'm speaking about, because for some reason it just seems like on the outside, people are on the outside looking in at your life. It seems like you're very happy and content and you're working towards more and you're not even focusing on them. You don't, you don't, it seems like you're very unbothered. You just don't care. You don't care no more. All right. That's what I see. That's the overall energy that I see. I also see a lot of people reaching out to you, calling you, checking on you. Are you okay? How have you been? You can have people around you that were going through their, their own stuff. Like if you have a friend and you haven't heard from your friend in a while, it's because they're going through a lot. They could have just like fell in depression and just wanted to spend some time to themselves. And they could be coming out of depression to check on you. Okay. So. Yeah. You've been patient and you've been prayerful. That's what it looks like. If you have wishes coming in that people could be feeling envious about or like you paid, you, pr you paid the price. You look at the bottom of the deck. You have uh, positive changes when it comes to your money. Keep speaking it into existence because some of you could have been doing that. You could have been waking up in the morning and, and speaking abundance over your life in the mirror. And there's a lot of money that's coming towards you. But it's funny, Virgo, because even when you do have a lot of money coming towards you, I see you investing it. I see you saving it. I see you really trying to create a stable foundation for your future. It's the biggest thing I see with you. Like you're making smart money moves this month. You really are. Some of you, you could have came into money in the past and you blew it. You love to blow money. You was excited, but now you're being way more like responsible when it comes to managing your finances. And also you seem humble. You don't seem like you running around like I got money. I got money. <laughs> you seem like you're humble with it. Because you can know the reality of life, how money comes fast, but you can also lose it just as fast as it comes. So you're being very, very responsible and humble. And this is something that you prayed for. So that's that's the overall energy. That's the overall energy. Some of you, too, there might be a principle um, that that will offer you a position. I'm not sure if you will take it, but there could be a principle who will offer you a position and you may have a child that needs a new bike or wants a new bike. You could be buying your child the bike. Let's see what's coming in your love life. Spirit doesn't want you to take take things personally anymore. People projecting onto you, people competing with you, people, all kinds of stuff in the background of you. They don't want you to take it personally anymore. Before you used to get very upset about stuff like this. But just know that it just shows where they are. What's going on with your love life? What's going on with your love life, Virgo? You're walking away. You're walking away from anything that is stressing you. You're walking away from anything that's toxic. You're walking away from anything that doesn't add value to you. You're you're done. Some of you could have been with another Virgo. And this is like a missed opportunity. You could be walking away from another Virgo or an air sign. Some of you, you just want to leave things the way it is. You're going to have an air sign that you walked away from. You feel like they front a lot for social media. They take a lot of nice pictures. They 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 front on social media, but you know the real deal with this person. You know the real deal with them and you feel like whatever they've done to you or whatever they've done to other women or men, it's going to come full circle around back to them. So you waiting on this person to get their day and not to say like you're waiting for like them to get their karma, but you just know that because of what they put you through and who, whatever else they put other people through, you know that they're going to get their day. This person is, is, is watching you or they're going to come communicate to you. Let's see who else, Virgo. You also have a situation that shows two of cups. So some of you, you could be with somebody already that you are connected to. And this is the reason why you don't even want to open up to this person. Others of you, you can just be single and 
and seeing what's outside or just focusing on yourself or others. The reason why you don't want to be bothered with them no more because you have something better. Two of Cups situation means that you are connected. You are connected to someone, something that you've been waiting for. Whoever this person is, you guys can celebrate together. You guys can drink together. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, this is somebody who spies on you a lot. They know your weaknesses and they know your strength. So whoever this person is, some of you, if they have hair, I see you doing their hair. If they have like braids or if they have like dreads or you could just like to rub in their hair a lot. Um, yeah. It also shows the King of Pentacles. So... That's another reason you could be avoiding this person and you don't want nothing to do with them. When they come back, you released them because you found a connection that is good for you. And you both are working on the connection together and it's, it's reciprocal. I mean, you might have your flaws or things when it comes to this person, but this is exactly why you're not trying to go back. You good. And if any of you have no one, then you can have this two of cups energy that's about to come in. Tell me more. Yeah. You're definitely letting this person go. So for this side, it shows moving on, letting go, being free. You're tired of the cycle that goes round and round and round. You're tired of allowing this person to come into your life and trigger you. It's like this, this person, you could have thought in the beginning that you were going to be with them long term, but they trigger you. You go round and round. You're not going anywhere. Like you're not getting anywhere when it comes to this person. And for this pile, it shows I love you. So you have a love. You have a love connection. Some of you, you could have met this person at work. You could have met this person at work. Um, you could have met this person as soon as as soon as you you gotten over this connection and you decided that I'm not going to deal with this no more. This person could have came into your life. Okay. It also shows funeral. So this person could have had somebody that passed. You could have had somebody that passed and this person is like going to be supporting you. This person can also be afraid. Like, I hope you don't judge me. If this is somebody new, they could feel they wonder what you think of them. They wonder if you judge them behind their their back. Some of you could tell this person that you need them to communicate more with you. All right. So let's see what else is going on when it comes to your love life. Yeah. If you are thinking, if you, yeah. This person is just thinking about you. They they feel like you have somebody else. They could feel like you found somebody who's more loyal because you're giving them the silent treatment. That's what it looks like. That you got to your breaking point and you found somebody else. That's what they're assuming. And they're right. They feel like you are happy without them. You're happy without them. You're doing better without them. They were stubborn and prideful and caused you too much stress. All right. But in this connection, you're going to have somebody who. Um, ooh. In this connection, you are going to have someone who is open hearted and someone who will nourish the connection. So you have two connections coming towards you. You know, Virgo, you can have a little bit of feelings for this person still. Because when they call, like, some of you may just ignore them. But there's a part of you that feels, like, sad, you know? When they, when they call you, it can trigger you a little bit. It can bring you back to what you guys used to go through. With this person, you could feel a little bit sad. All right, let's see what what messages. Ooh, 
what messages or advice does spirit have for you? What advice? What advice is coming up for you, Virgo? Yeah, you were never asking for too much. You were just asking the wrong person. So that, that could have been another thing too. This person made you feel like you had to beg for them to do what is expected. All right. Spirit also wants you to know um, you are smart. You are beautiful. You're handsome. You are enough. You're going to make yourself very, very proud. So trust the process. And they also want you to know Stop trying to make peace with people who only want war and chaos. And I feel like that's what this person's energy gives, you know? You like how some people are in a storm in their life and they kind of want to bring you down with them? That's what this person gives me. Um, let's see what else. Some of you, if you're going to get a an apartment, like your credit... Your credit is decent. Some of you could be afraid, like you could be looking into repairing your credit so that you can get into a place. It's going to work out for you if you do decide to repair your credit. Yeah. Ooh. So this new connection, it shows intimacy. It shows you guys cuddling, you guys connecting. This person is emotionally available. You two connecting, going out. And then it says you focusing on your, your career, your life purpose, your goals. All right. This person is going to give you a tough time. Because I even hear like I'm not trying to like intrude. But I just like they just need to understand like how you feel about them. Why aren't you answering them? They just need to understand. Even though they probably understand anyway. They probably are just like scared of of rejection they don't like rejection at all and what's going on with your work you're taking it day day by day some of you could be looking to see what other job opportunities is out there <clears throat> Some of you, you may not even like your job right now. Yeah, you don't like your job right now or you could be upset of how much you have to spend on gas to travel. Your energy is depleted when it comes to work. Some of you wish that you were at another job or doing something else. Virgo, I'm going to go on to the extended. I'm going to do a full spread on your past person to see what action are they going to take towards you next i'm going to do a spread on the new person in your life i'm also going to look at your family how does your family see you your friends and your children and if you have your own business love and light